Hey YouTube, it's Empirant, and today I want to talk about everyone's least favorite part about playing ranked, losing streaks. If a matchmaking system is well made, it should result in almost all players bouncing out to a round of 50% win rate, with exceptions generally only existing for the very top players, the very bottom players, and those with a relatively small sample size of games. And honestly, if you look through win rates on AoE2.net, the matchmaking in Age of Empires does a pretty good job at this, at least in 1v1. But of course, just because you are winning on average half of your games doesn't mean that you will always alternate between winning a game and then losing the next game. Streaks are part of any typical competitive gaming scene, and AoE2 is no exception. However, even if we know this fact in our heads, it doesn't stop us from feeling amazing when we're on the tail end of a big winning streak, or from questioning our every life decision after dropping that 6th or 7th in a row. But what are the odds that you will experience this kind of seemingly unlikely streak, and is it really that you are suddenly great or terrible at this game we all love, or is it simply a matter of math and statistics? Let's take a look, and hopefully by the end we can all feel a little better about that 200 ELO we dropped in the last two weeks. First, let's take a quick look at what ELO is and how it typically works. The ELO system was originally created by a guy named Arpod ELO as a better system for keeping track of players' ratings in chess. In an ELO system, the winning player is essentially taking their newly earned points directly from their opponent's points, meaning the total amount of points in the system should stay the same, and as such the average player ELO should always stay the same as well. In Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, this average player ELO is 1000. An exception to this occurs when new players enter the system, with those players typically gaining or losing larger amounts of ELO per match in order for them to reach their appropriate rating faster. Several different methods can be implemented in order to balance out how these extra ELO points are handled and to prevent the average rating of the system from shifting too much. However, these methods can get fairly complicated and I don't intend to delve into them at the moment. Additionally, ELO can be used to predict outcomes to a surprisingly accurate extent. For example, a player 200 ELO above another player would be expected to win that game 76% of the time. However, because the system expects this player to win, it will reward them with fewer of their opponent's ELO points, whereas if the weaker player can pull off the upset, they're given more of their opponent's points. So now that we know how an ELO system works, what does this mean for our look at streaks? While it may seem odd to think about a game of skill as having a win and loss probability, in the big picture this actually tends to be the case. In an ideal matchmaking system where you were able to be matched up against somebody of the exact same skill level every time, you would be expected to win exactly 50% of the time. We already established that the AoE2 Definitive Edition system comes pretty close to this, so looking at it mathematically, your odds of encountering a 5 game losing streak should be 0.5 to the 5th power, which comes out to about a 3.1% chance that you will encounter a 5 game losing streak over any 5 games, a 5 game winning streak would have the same 3.1% chance, and the odds of having either a 5 game losing streak or a 5 game winning streak is 6.2%. While this sounds unlikely, it essentially means that the odds of this occurring at least once over a thousand games played is basically 100%. And if you were to play 100 best of fives against an opponent of equal skill, around six of those best of fives should end up as sweeps, with you and your opponent each winning three complete sweeps. Of course, the numbers are unlikely to come out this exact, but if you were to play enough best of fives, say one million, these are the average number of sweeps you should end up with per 100 series. Even a 10 game streak should occur for around 38.5% of people over a thousand games. Additionally, remember that it is also possible that you play really well for a few games and beat players that you normally wouldn't, and you end up with an inflated ELO. This increases the odds that you lose your next games above 50%, and thus increases the odds for long losing streaks. Of course, this also works the same for if you lose some games, and now your odds of a long winning streak are increased as well. One of the most important things to remember is that ultimately ELO systems should be self-correcting, and the longer your streak is, there's a good chance that you're about to take a similar trip in the opposite direction very soon. For this reason, I would generally suggest taking your current ELO with a slight grain of salt, and instead, if you're going to make sure that you are generally improving at the game, just look at your AoE2.net chart and make sure that if you had to draw a best fit line along your graph, it's moving in a positive direction. So there it is guys, next time you're on a long losing streak, just remember, it's not you, it's just statistics. 
That's all for me today though. Thanks for watching this video everyone. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up down below, hit that subscribe button, and leave any questions you may have down in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching, I hope to see you all on the stream sometime, and have a good one.